Well, as the whole world considers what the U.S. and Chinese governments may agree to next month in Copenhagen, private companies from both countries now have a clean energy agreement that is already in place. The joint project would put hundreds of Chinese-made wind turbines on tens of thousands of acres here in the U.S. Clean Skies' Lee Patrick Sullivan was there for the international announcement earlier today. Lee, we're talking about job creation here. How many are permanent and how many are temporary in terms of what would be created through this agreement? Well, Tyler, as far as the permanent uh, jobs, there will be about 30 permanent jobs. And you're right, uh, there will be 300 jobs that w will be created with the building of this uh, wind farm. And Tyler, this deal is between U.S. Renewable Energy Group, Silo Wind Power, and the Chinese wind turbine ma manufacturer, Shenyang Power Group. Altogether, they plan to build a wind farm that will cover 15 square miles of the West Texas Plains. Two Texas renewable energy companies and a Chinese wind turbine maker are now partners in the largest foreign renewable energy investment in the U.S. Today, we are proud to sign an historic agreement with Shenyang Power Group and Cielo Wind Power that will invest $1.5 billion in America renewable energy. The billion and a half investment will go to create a 36,000 acre wind farm in West Texas, sprawling over five counties and capable of generating electricity for the equivalent of 180,000 homes. China has been pushing to get into the U.S. market for years and will now provide 240 two and a half megawatt wind turbines designed by General Electric and built in the city of Shenyang. Today, this entrance of ours into the U.S. market is something that we worked on for a long time and it was just meant to be. Our signing ceremony today is marks the beginning of our cooperation, but we need to work harder together and understand each other better, cooperate and collaborate better to get the best results. Chinese banks will finance the project, but they may not have to pony up the entire one and a half billion. Project officials say they will be applying for U.S. government stimulus money set aside for renewable projects. Here in Washington, I would like to particularly express my thanks for the Obama administration's policy push for more development for green jobs and more openness in terms of foreign cooperation. When finished, the project is expected to be one of the largest wind farms in the U.S. Now, Tyler, China's SPG will start delivering those wind turbines in March of next year, and the farm is expected to generate electricity the following year. Tyler? A major agreement there. Thank you very much for that report. Again, that announcement taking place in Washington, D.C. earlier today.